Hello and welcome. This is just a demonstration video of the FPS zombie shooter game. And uh, pretty much that's it. I just want to talk a little bit about the game. You, you know, you see a video about game development, how the current progress. This is something like that. Okay, as you can see, most of the features I planned is implemented. There are zombies and weapons which make up the FPS game. I also added a few things uh, like the map, which is uh, quite important for an FPS game. This is just a very simple map, I made it in 2-3 minutes. As you can see I added a pretty badly textured house in here, obviously with a good UV mapping you can make it much much nicer. Ok, I just add it here to be something to demonstrate with, as you can see this is just one plane. Uh, all around. The collision detection is working even in here, I guess. Uh, approximately working. The zombies are following me, so the AI is pretty simple. Actually, it's not even an AI because, you know, this is just a one line AI, so always follow me, and that's all of what they do. So always turn in the direction of me. As you can see, I go around. This will just turn. Uh, turn where I am and go toward me. This is actually pretty simple to implement. You just get a vector which points from the zombie current position to me and yeah, move uh, move the zombie along that vector with a uh, speed. Okay, as you can see the UV map uh, mapping and texturing work. This is actually a grass texture and there is a road and uh, brick. Okay, uh, as a start, I start with a simple pistol. There is sound if you don't hear it, I just make it a little louder. And there are background music too. So, as you can see, there are reload effects. Okay, and if you shoot the zombies, sometimes they drop something like max ammo. Like here, as you can see, now my ammo is max. Okay, and uh, there is actually a fully automatic weapon, because if I just pre uh, continuously uh, hold down the mouse key, it nothing happens. I have to actually pressing this, because it's a semi-automatic weapon. Oh, another full ammo. Okay, approximately 1 to 20, the chance that one zombie will drop a uh, max ammo or uh, max health or the next weapon. The next weapon will be an AK-47. Okay, there is knife too, which is a little bit of overpowered at the moment, but that's just probably because there is one zombie in the map uh, currently. So uh, later on obviously there will be 50 zombies at the same time in the map, so it will be quite hard to knife them all because you can knife just one zombie at a mo at uh, a time, and when you knife one, uh, there the weapon, so you can shoot for the next one second. Okay, and uh, what I want to talk about, uh, this is actually not as hard as it seems to be hard because uh, you know. B most of the things which which is here we already made. For example, the skybox is the same as uh, as it was. Then the map is just uh, a, a list, a display list, and I just call it. The collision detection was already implemented. The ray tracing was implemented. So basically, almost everything is already implemented in some on a, uh, of some or another way, so this shouldn't be as hard to make it. Okay, uh, there is uh, still things that I'm not proud of, for example the collision detection. I just... Uh, uh, so I just saw that in the center, so where the diagonal is there, so the diagonal of the collision plane is, the collision detection is not working for some reason. I find a quite uh, simple solution for that. I make another 
uh, collision plane, rotate it in 90 degrees and now the collision detection is work everywhere except in the center of the plane. That's why this cube is in here. I can go up to this cube too. So that's why the cube is in here. Oh, an AK. You can see now if I just... Aha! Here is the AK. You can see it is fully automatic. For now the sounds are actually there is just one sound the for the weapon although there should be four of them one is the shooting sound the normal sound so when you're not shooting and not doing anything what sound does the weapon give and uh, there and there are the empty sound so when the weapon is empty what sound does it give and there is a reload sound, so when are, are you reloading what sounds the weapon gives. So for now all of them is, uh, is the same actually. Okay. And uh, yeah, pretty much that's it. I want to make already, uh, uh, I want to make a few things like smooth animation when changing a weapon as you can see now just change a weapon immediately although there is a uh, smooth when you uh, aim and not aim so here okay and uh, here to the end of the world I will put some cars and trees so you can get here as you can see you can look down to the end of the world okay and there is sprint you can sprint a uh, amount of time but then uh, your character will be tired and you can't sprint anymore like that okay drive already showed there are i can jumping and uh, pretty much that's it so as i said it's a pretty simple game it will be a little bit nicer with the nice uh, models as you can see this is just uh, both the weapons as you can see very simple weapons I just made them in blender and add the simple textures to it, them so this is really low uh, poly models both the map both the weapons as you can see the hand is just kind of minecraft hand because I'm not too good at making hands I just realized that Okay, and uh, hmm, I just have to think over what I should talk about. When you not aim with the weapon, as you can see, you can't shoot it even if you are in the center of the screen. Because there is a random uh, number added to the ray of the weapon, so it's pretty hard to shoot them. Obviously, as it gets closer, it becomes simpler. The, I turned off the lighting because I I haven't been satisfied with the lighting. It wasn't work very well, so I just turned it off, and now it's kind of good. Not as realistic, but you know, it kind of do it. And uh, hmm, I think that's about it. Uh, the uh, m the animation loader obviously use a lot of memory which I actually told in that tutorial because it's not too memory efficient way so it's already used 150 megs of memory but with a normal uh, so keyframe model loader it shouldn't be as big amount obviously t uh, nowadays everybody has such amount of memory in their computer neither the browser would start without that amount of memory so I just put the mic t microphone to the front of the speaker so you can hear it thanks for watching and have a great day